than me. <laughs> the other ones are the best. That's why I like grab a granny knife. <laughs> yes, hello, I'm Jamie Dennis, I'm from Colville. Yes, I know, uh, When I uh, tell people I'm from Colville, uh, I get the old, uh, <laughs> I get the old reaction, oh yeah, I know Colville, yeah, it's full of inbreds. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, uh, what? Surprised you've not got extra fingers. Uh, oh, thanks, yeah. Can I get a high six for my Colville peeps? <laughs> Yeah, or, by the way, I am an excellent swimmer due to the webbed feet. Ah, oh, classic. So, uh, yes, yeah, so like all of the acts tonight, this is my first ever stand up comedy gig. Yes, I normally sit down. Some of these will be funny. I've had to be very careful writing comedy. Because everything these days I've noticed has to be politically correct. So I'm not out to offend anybody, so I'll try my best not to. So let's start. I'm a bricklayer. That's not a joke. I am actually a bricklayer. I work on the building sites. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> I forgot. I am, yes, I'm a bricklayer. <laughs> You're a bricklayer? I'm like, yeah. Like, Where? Well, Legoland. <laughs> Everyone's a comedian. <laughs> yeah, on the building site, so, uh, Wolf Whistle has been banned. Yeah. The other bricklayers don't like it. Homophobes. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I don't get that though, Wolf Whistle, because apparently now it's a hate crime. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't understand why it's a hate crime though, because when I see somebody I hate, I don't give it. Very strange. Yeah, I hear wolf whistling, and I, I'm the type of guy that when I hear it, wolf whistle without walking down the road, I'll be like, uh, put that in my pocket, save it for later, a bit of a confidence booster. Nothing wrong with that. Because in the back of my mind, when I hear it, my little brain goes, oh, I do look nice today. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I'm thinking, Jamie, you're very camp. Like, me? <laughs> yeah, are you sure you're not a gay boy? Oh, thanks. I'll tell you what, you know what I say to these people who call me a gay boy? Thank you. I say, fuck you! <laughs> So, has uh, anybody else noticed these days how sexualised things have got? You know, adverts, very sexualised yeah. adverts these days. Like, um, drawn by the shampoo and the gorgeous, sexy. Like, I don't feel no sexy, I've got no sexy essences or anything like that. It's very strange. But my favourite, well, not favourite, but the dirtiest one. The naughtiest one in my brain is the Muller Corner Yogurt advert. Have you seen that? It's got Nicole Scherzinger in it. And she's like, eating yogurt. This is Muller delicious. Oh, and she falls off the back of a chair, ends up with yogurt all over her. Oh, Might as well have Lewis Hamilton in there, finishing her face. That's <laughs> mm. <laughs> And now with 10% less seen. <laughs> yes, the, the uh, <laughs> sexualisation runs through everything that I've noticed these days. Like, we've tried to make politics more sexy. Brexit's getting sexy. You know, we've tried to sexy that right up. Do you know how? Do you want a hard Brexit? Do you want a hard Brexit? Hard Brexit. Do you want it hard? <laughs> hard. Yeah, hard. Yeah, no. I want a soft Brexit. I want a soft one. I think that's a bit of a gay Brexit. <laughs> my bad. Strange old Brexit though, I've noticed. Because nobody really knows what it means. You know, the Prime Minister came out with... Brexit. Means Brexit. Well, well done, that's uh, really clear. That one for everyone. Another thing I think that's a bit strange, I'm not quite sure what the 
what they are about. A hard Brexiteer. Well, look at these guys. Sound like Nigel Farage on a horse. Brexit. Uh, uh, leave. Mm, don't think so. It's going to be a little bit like pulling out. There's going to be a mess everywhere. Oh, Molly Corning, I wouldn't be. The Theresa May, she doesn't know what it means. You know, the whole Brexit being Brexit. Imagine her writing the dictionary. It'd be like A. Hard fork. Means hard fork. Well, I'd be quite interested if uh, she didn't write it, because when she got to M, I quite like that one, because means, 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 no, <laughs> enough of that politics now, enough of that, enough of politics, let's move on. Although, I just want to say, uh, Theresa May, she would make everyone soft. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> let's just move on from politics. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, when I'm done working at Legoland for the day anyway, uh, building sites, after a long day I like nothing more than get home and watch MasterChef in front of the TV. You know MasterChef where they get like amateur cooks on and they uh, turn into masters. Yeah, I like the earlier episodes myself because there's always a couple of special sorts that like, I like to cook honest food. Right? Okay, how do you know it's honest? What are you doing, lining up your ingredients? All the carrots in a line? There's a leak here somewhere. <laughs> Good joke. Well, you just don't like questions, they end up in tears. Ah. Hey, Mr. Carrot. You sure you're a carrot? Carrot's like that. I knew it. You can't get the recipe if you're lying. Come on, let's have a bit of honesty. Okay. Hi, my name is Peter. I'm a parsnip. But I identify as Carol the Carrot. And due to everything being PC world, there are no jokes here at all. So thank you very much. Yeah, uh, on Master Chef, though, they do what they do best which has shown me that there's inbred people everywhere, not just Colville. <laughs> Thank you very much, Robin.